So there's this program called ShareX. Here's why you should get it. It's an absolute must for any power user, and it's the best tool out there for sharing media and screen captures in an immediate fashion. Its capture abilities extend to anything on your screen of any size. It even expands multiple monitors, lets you split between two monitors, and it even goes as small as 2x2 pixels. Whether you want to capture a chat message, an avatar, a picture of your dope character, or a scoreboard, ShareX has you covered with one mouse movement. Want to capture a GIF quick in-game and upload it to your Discord? Two clicks and it's in chat. Your meme game will never be the same. It even has the ability to capture MP4s for smaller file sizes if you don't want to have a massive GIF. ShareX can even do basic image manipulation on the fly as well. Things such as pixelation, blur, arrows, and highlights can all be done during a capture, saving directly onto the capture in seconds rather than needing a secondary tool to do it. And then the best feature of all, all captures can be automatically uploaded to wherever you want, and it automatically copies the link into your clipboard, letting you paste the link the moment it goes live to the internet. You can even use any image host or web host you desire, including Imager, Google Drive, and even Photobucket if you're still stuck in 2008. It even lets you use your own web host if you host your own website through custom URLs. But it's not just limited to its quick capture capabilities. It also has a ton of tools for capturing and auto-uploading different media. Text, clipboard, copy-paste, entire web pages, including scrolling them for you, without also capturing extra junk. It's all easily done with ShareX, just requiring two or three clicks to do any capture job you could possibly want. It can even handle drag and drop of text documents, archive files, and even just raw files themselves. If it needs to be shared, ShareX can do it. It's a fitting name, right? To wrap up my recommendation, ShareX is a tool with the ability to streamline your PC social experience in more ways than one. Definitely a tool everyone should have on their taskbar, and it may even be worth switching to from alternatives like push and print screen due to its superior capture and hosting abilities. Sometimes capturing's not at the forefront. Well, ShareX also offers a few neat features beyond that, such as a color picker if you ever need to know the correct RGB or hex value for a color on your screen, a QR code generator and reader if you ever need one on your desktop, a ruler to measure your screen pixel by pixel, a directory indexer to find out where your file space went, an image combiner, video thumbnailer, monitor test, and it'll even let you tweet if that's what you're into. So let's jump from that into ShareX itself and show how to set it up, as well as overviewing some of the neat tools that it has on offer. Alright, so after downloading ShareX through Steam or through their website, you'll go ahead and load the application up, either by clicking launch or double clicking the icon on your desktop. And that will open this window. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into destinations and go to destination settings. From here, you will set up your accounts. Most of these use OAuth or Open Authentication, such as Imager here. Imager uses Open Authentication, so what you do is you simply go and click Open Authentication page, and this will give you a digit code. You will then copy that, and you will paste it, and then you complete the authorization. You can then either set up an album for all of your uploads to enter, or you can just leave them directly onto your account. You can also enable direct linking and Giphy. Or you can set up things like Image Shack, Tiny Pick, Flickr, Photo Bucket, Google Photos, whatever your fancy is. You can even set up custom uploaders down on the bottom, but I'm thinking if you know how to set up a custom uploader, you'll know how to set up ShareX. Then you can go ahead and set up things like Pastebin. I personally use that and set an automatic expiration date of two weeks. Then you can set up an FTP, or a Dropbox, or a OneDrive, or a Google Drive, Push, etc. You have a very long list. Most of these will simply be an open authentication page, and it will be the same as setting up your Imager account. For those that aren't, it'll be as simple as entering your username and password, and ShareX will handle it from there. So now after you've set that up, you want to go to your destinations again and set your image uploader, text uploader, file uploader, and URL shortener to whatever you actually want them to be. If you're not using Imager, be sure to go here and toggle them to a different set. If you're not using Imager, be sure to go here and set them to whichever one you're actually using. Now what we want to set up would be your after capture tasks. I personally don't like my things uploading to the internet immediately as I'm posting them in Discord or on Skype. 
So what I do is I come down here to upload to image host and I click that. That removes its auto uploading. You'll see the little toggle box on the icon. If you want, you can also set it up to delete your file locally. So if you're using something like Google Drive or Google Photos where you want to keep them permanently on the cloud, but you don't want them on your actual computer, you can set it up to automatically delete. You can also enable a before upload window that will let you edit things and make sure it's the picture you want to share. Then you have your after upload tasks. You will set those. You can show the after upload window, or you can simply set it to copy the URL to your clipboard. Personally, I think that one's the best one as it's the most convenient for me. Then moving on, we have application settings. This one is very important if you use it on Steam. Go to application settings and integration and hit Steam well in ShareX is open, show in-app on Steam. If you enable this, your little icon down here will be green and all of your friends will see that you are in ShareX. This is very useful if you want to rack up hours so that you could write a review because it does take 20 minutes for you to be able to write a review on a game. However, I use ShareX on startup, so it's running 24-7. I don't really want my friends to see me in ShareX all of the time, so I have that disabled. Then you can set up paths and have this set to wherever you want it to store all of your screenshots and video files. You can also set up year, month, and date, and this will automatically sort the folders so that when you go to your ShareX folder, it will be labeled what month it was and what year they were taken in. If you're like me and you never delete your collection of screenshots, this is a very handy tool to have because it automatically categorizes things for you. Then we have the defaults here. The default is capture region on left click. That means you can come down here and simply left click and it will start recording your... So that means you can come down here and simply left click and when you do so, it will start a capture job. That will let you take a screenshot with the basic toolbar of whatever you want while you're on your desktop. Now let's get into the cool stuff. So with Capture, one of my favorite things about ShareX is the fact that it has OCR or optical character recognition built into it. So with this, all I have to do is go and tag something and it will search the text in the picture that I took. And I can copy paste that out to wherever I want now. This works with anything on an image, in a game, your chat box, it's a fantastic tool. It's something I didn't know I needed until I had it. Then you have the web page capture, the auto capture, which will automatically capture a screenshot every so many seconds. You set that when you set it up here. And then you have the default uploader. If you go here, you will just get the list of things you can upload. I personally don't use this because you can automatically drag and drop into the ShareX window and it does the same thing. Then you have the tools list. Here you have the QR code reader, the ruler, the directory indexer, the image combiner. The image combiner is kind of neat because all you have to do is load it up, hit add, and then in your category here, if you want to combine a series of images, say you want to make a showcase of all of your Vermintide characters, you simply go here, set it to a vertical, and click combine. Give it a second and you now have all five of the characters on one image so you can easily share that around. It also includes a monitor test. That's not something most people need, but it does let you test your monitor for dead pixels or screen tearing or other wavery problems. Then we have workflows, which is one of the harder to get to, but very useful things. So what you do here is you go to hotkey settings and this will set up your workflows. I personally rebound my alt print screen to OCR capture. This is very simple to do once you get the hang of it. All you do is you click add and that will ask you what you want your task to be. You can go ahead and set screen record, screen capture, tools, and you can keybind any feature that ShareX has. So for me I wanted to set up OCR, so all I do is I do OCR. And then I don't really want anything after capture. I don't want it to save. I don't want it to copy to clipboard. 
as OCR doesn't automatically copy anything to your clipboard, so I just disable that. And that overrides my default settings without also changing what I want it to do when I capture region or capture my entire screen. And then there we go. We go here, set a keybind, and we would set it to alt print screen in my case. And that would create this here text capture. And that's how you would go about setting up a hotkey. Now you can also use ShareX simply by right clicking down here on ShareX and all of your tools come up in this window as well. So you don't need to load this large window every time you want to use it. Instead, a simple right click for all of the things you don't have keybind is all you need, including changing all of your settings. So hopefully this short tutorial helped you out and helped convince you to get ShareX, the superior image sharing platform that I've used for the last couple of years. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. For those of you who stuck around, enjoy this crappy infomercial I recorded for OCR. I hope you guys have a great day, and here's to a wonderful 2018.